So you're thinking of getting a dental implant, but you're not sure how it works or how long it takes to heal. In this video, I'm gonna break down dental implants, the procedure, step-by-step, step, what to expect, how long recovery takes, the truth about pain and loads more. So if this is something that interests you, sit back, relax, let's dive in. A dental implant is basically a titanium screw that replaces the root of a missing tooth. And it's as simple as that. And once this screw heals, it's basically acting like a root and then a crown is attached on the top. So it looks and functions like a natural tooth. They're safe, they're long lasting, and it can restore your smile and bite confidence. So let's now talk a little about the procedure. What happens on the day? First, they're gonna rinse your mouth with an antibacterial solution, then get you numbed up with local anesthetic, just like you're having a filling. The dentist will then drill a small hole in the jawbone and they'll gradually widen it to basically fit the implant in. The implant is then placed manually or with a surgical tool and then an x-ray checks the position and the gum is closed over or a healing cap is added. So next let's talk about the healing time. The implant, so that titanium screw, needs time to fuse with the jawbone and the medical term for this process is called osseointegration. It usually does take three to five months heal and you'll usually get follow-ups to check on healing. And basically once that's ready and healed, that is now ready for that crown to be fitted onto it. Now the next section I've called it procedure add-ons because sometimes patients don't have enough bone to actually support the implant and in these cases a bone graft might be done before or during the implant process. And another potential add-on to be aware of for upper back teeth sometimes a sinus lift is needed and this is basically to create enough space for the implant. So the next section I just wanted to go through common questions because we've had a lot of questions about implants on the channel. The first question is am I too old for implants? The simple answer is no, you're never too old, but overall health and bone quality does matter. Next question, is it safe? When they're done properly, implants have a 95% plus long-term success rate. And lastly, can I get one if I smoke? And I think you all already know the answer to this, but in case you don't, smoking basically increases the risk of failure. But it doesn't rule you out, but it's always a good idea to try and stop smoking. So next up, I want to talk about Vera Smile Dental Clinic. This is a leading dental clinic in Istanbul, trusted worldwide by patients for treatments like like dental implants, crowns, and veneers. They use premium materials from the US, Switzerland, and Germany for long-lasting results. From smile design to final results, everything is planned in advance using photos and x-rays. And their experienced dentists deliver precise results, all whilst you're staying in a five-star hotel with full post-treatment support. Plus, Vera Smile offer a lifetime guarantee on implants and 10 years on crowns and veneers, so you can smile with confidence. Check out the link in the description below to learn more. You can and also book a free consultation to learn more. Vera Smile, thank you for being our trusted sponsor. Back onto dental implants. What about pain? Most patients are actually surprised how easy recovery is. Some are even walking their dog and going back to work the next day. And usually your dentist will recommend things like ibuprofen and that will handle the pain. But of course, you need to follow what your dentist tells you. Moving straight on to the next section, what about aftercare and maintenance? People with dental implants can still get gum disease. The medical term for this is peri-implantitis. So brushing and flossing day is essential just like what you do currently. Regular checkups matter too, but your dentist will check if your bone and your gums and your teeth are healthy. And one other thing that I've got to answer that I've seen from the questions that we had is can I buy an apple? The short answer is yes, you can buy an apple or things like that after you've had a dental implant, but you need to make sure it's fully healed before you do so. So there you have it guys. You asked for a video all about dental implants and we made it for you. This information has all been gathered from my own understanding of implants and my own research, but we have also run this by my dentist friends and colleagues who have checked this information it's all up to date and correct so i really hope it was helpful and as we always say at the end of every week's video sending awesome vibes and i'll see you next week